Hi, this is Larry Lunder, field agronomist with Pioneer Hybrids. And today what I want to talk about is treating insects in sunflowers. Now sunflowers are a really great uh, native crop to North America. We do very well in the western areas of North Dakota, South Dakota, as well as wet, Northwest Minnesota. Planting sunflowers on farms, they make a good part of the rotation. The thing to keep in mind is that uh, they'll do very well under weather conditions. Uh, sometimes when it's cooler, they still do well. When we have droughtier, drier conditions, they, they have a good deep taproot that can go down and, uh, and help pick up water, which helps, of course, yield in the tougher conditions. And that is a really good thing about the sunflowers. The drawback to sunflowers is they are native to North America, so they've got plenty of native pests that uh, can give them trouble during the growing season as well. Uh, they have probably more insect issues than any anything we deal with in this area of the country for the most part, you know, probably right next to the soybeans or the soybean aphid. And that tends to be more in the eastern areas of the state in western Minnesota. So today I'm going to show you a, a pretty good method for checking what your threshold levels are like and uh, if you should make that decision to treat or not. Now, the main culprit is going to be what's called a red seed weevil. Uh, we also will tend to look for things like banded sunflower moth, perhaps a ligus bug. Those are things that can all infect the head, but mainly our concern is going to be with a red seed weevil. Now to go out and do this, uh, you know, find yourself out in the sunflower field, of course. You're gonna need some kind of insect spray, just to, you know, so you can spray it onto the head and see what comes out. So once you are in the field, you have the, you have your can of spray. You just wander in a little ways. And uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just on the edge, but you would normally want to go probably off the headlands a little bit into the into the field and go ahead and you're going to spray the head and you're going to give it just and give it a little bit of time and as you'll see out they come you can see them moving along the edges there that is a that is a red seed weevil and I will make an attempt to see if I can get one crawl onto me there you go right there that, that is the culprit right there, the red seed weevil. Uh, the threshold, we're in a field that happens to be oil sunflowers. The threshold is four to six, so you would want to do several spots within the field, and you would want to look at uh, treatment when you exceed, you know, split it, split it in half and five or greater in your spots, you'd want to make a treatment. Uh, the best time to treat the field is about 10 to 20 percent bloom which would be typically r5.1 to r5.2 uh, that's the time to go out um, make get that application done uh, word of warning if you're going to have an aerial sprayer do it which generally speaking that's how it's going to get done uh, don't wait to the last minute because you're likely to go on a little bit of a waiting list it's better to check the field early on when it begins to bloom see if there's an issue and then go get on the list i've had uh, i've had good success getting fields sprayed early where we've had trouble where we've had times when we've treated a field and still had damages when it gets sprayed too late when it's greater than 50 percent bloom and beyond it's uh it's not the proper time to go after the after the red seed weevil it's already probably done its damage by then and you can't uh, you can't get it controlled that concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.